Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome Joe Ferguson, Deputy Director of Jackson County Juvenile Services. Joe, good to see you. How are you today? Good, thank you. So you're a big part of this Jackson County Gang Task Force. We've been talking about it for a couple weeks now. Kind of, how did this come, uh, come about? So originally it started in 2008 where the southern region, region counties from Lane County kind of down um, put on a, a gang uh, conference here in Medford and, and kind of the idea was for this to kick off this model and, and have this conference then the seven counties go back and start the assessment process in terms of, of assessing the gang problem in their counties. Um, the problem that happened is all the, the gang grants dried up the following year and so there was no sure. money to do this and so we struggled with trying to figure out how we're going to do it and, and about Two years after that, we established a, a Jackson County Gang Task Force and, and decided that we would move on, move forward with assessment, knowing we had no uh, additional resources or staffing to do it, but we felt that it was an important piece to, to kind of draw from the community of, of what their perceptions were of our gang problem. Okay, and you, and you interviewed uh, business foot people, you interviewed community members, you interviewed students. Who all took part in the survey? Sure, so over a two year period, since we didn't have any dedicated staff to that, so we did, mm -hmm. we did surveys to business leaders, we did um, 10 community forums to gather input from both community members and parents, um, and then we also um, had all the schools within the, the county, ex excluding Ashland, um, Prospect, and Butte Falls, participate in a student survey as well, uh, and then school personnel. Okay. So, what was the biggest surprise do you think, in your opinion, from the survey? Well, I don't think I don't think there was a big surprise. I think that you know we had some difficulty getting community members to come out um, and participate. But I think in terms of the data we collected, there there definitely was a perception that that there's some concern about the gang issues in our in our valley from the business leaders and, and community leaders. About 77 percent felt like there was an issue. Um, if you looked at the, the students within, just within their schools, um, it was about a 21% said that they, they know that there are gang members within the school. So I think mm -hmm. one aspect of that, that's good that it's not a higher number, and I think schools have done a really good job of, of putting in place rules and regulations in terms of, of you know, the colors and dress you know, attire and graffiti sure. stuff. So I think schools have worked really well. Um, in terms of, of curbing that as well. All right, very good. Well, I want to ask you kind of where you're going with this, what the next step is, but first we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, here with Joe Ferguson, the Deputy Director of the Jackson County Ju Juvenile Services. Excuse me. So, Joe, we're talking about your involvement in this Jackson County Gang Task Force, and you guys recently can finished your assessment, that is available online, correct? It is, if, if people just go to the jacksoncounty.org website, that's the, the main county website, and just go to Community Justice of the Department and then Juvenile Services, um, there's a copy of the assessment there. Okay, and, and what is the next step, Matt? Did you guys have finished your assessment? Where do you go from here? Sure, the next phase is implementation. So we take the data we have from the assessment and, and look at it and, and say, okay, so what are the next steps of how can we provide you know what the data says? So in terms of, of some Things that came out was uh, mentoring, some more after school programs, some skill uh, development type of activities. And so really looking at that in terms of a gang task force of, of where in the community do we already have um, programs that can um, increase or mm -hmm. are there new programs that need to be developed and, and looking for some resources as well. Um, there is an opportunity for a state grant coming out uh, in May that we'll be looking at um, in terms of providing direct services to kids in, in terms of either some after school um, activities or um, you know positive you know development. Sure and you guys did your forums last week uh, kind of getting the word out to the public and the assessment is finished. Can, can the public still get involved in this process? Sure. Um, probably the easiest thing is, is they can contact me at, at Juvenile Services and I kind of direct them and, and there's several different groups within our community that are already working with at-risk or, or gang involved kids. Um, so depending on where they live um, they can get plugged into those. They can become part of the gang task force um, as a community member. Um, that's open to them as well. And so I think there's a lot of opportunities and in addition to um, you know, where the next, you know, resources come from of, of what the next programs are, too. Those might open up some opportunities as well. Very good, Joe. Great to see you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.